So I got a question about these wind turbines and how do they work? Well, let's get into it. Okay, the wind turbines put out AC voltage and they all come down from the tower in my roof in these big cables back here. Then they come down and they're three wires. So you got three hot AC lines. They come into the switch and they go through the rectifier. The rectifier changes it to DC. So this will take three AC lines and turn it into 12 volt DC. That in turn, I got these all linked together. They come up to the control panel. Now the control panel, if I start putting out too much power, um, this is set. I know it looks like it's not on, but it's on. I got it from Missouri Wind Power. What happens is when the batteries are fully charged, this will tell it at wherever you set it. I think I got it set for 13 and a half volts. It'll dump it. It'll dump the power from the wind turbines over into the resistor bank. All these do is just waste the power. These get hot. I mean, they get really hot. You can't even touch them, but it's because the wind turbines need resistance because if this shut off and told the wind turbines, you know, we don't need any more power, they'll free spin out of control. They need some resistance to slow them down. And that's what these do. So I got these on eBay. I mean, I got 3,000 watts, I think it's 3,000 watts worth of resistor banks. So now with my solar panels, you can run them in here at the same time as the wind turbines. You can put them together and they come in on this side. So this is the solar panel comes in on this side. Your wind turbines come in on this side, and then I put a meter in the middle to let me know what's going on out there to wind turbines. It's kind of windy out now. That's the amps going into the batteries. So this comes directly from here right into the batteries, and they keep the batteries charged. And then I can just uh, turn on my inverter. I got the big Ames inverter and uh, run the power back into the house, but each battery that comes out, I got a fuse in there in case something happens. And then, like I said before, these batteries run 12 volts inside my house, as well as a big light bar I just put on my garage if you saw my other video. So that's basically the way it works. The wind turbines put out AC voltage. I'm not sure exactly which volt, but each leg of it does that. And then it comes in, goes to the rectifier, which changes it down to 12 volt DC and then it goes in the battery. Um, do I have any backflow preventers? No. Um, should I? Yeah, possibly. But I haven't experienced any problems. It's not like when the wind turbine stops spinning, the batteries backfeed and start spinning them, you know, reverse powering them. They, they don't do that. Um, so, yeah. I hope this helps out uh, the question I got. And, uh, yeah. I mean, if you're building your own wind turbine, out of all the crap I got, I got probably a little over, I'm probably close to 10,000. Doesn't look like it, but I tell you what, when you start buying these cables and all this heavy cabling that I've got here, I mean, it adds up. So, yep, gets expensive. I was kind of wondering if, uh, if I had it professionally done. I mean, I probably would have spent 15, but... I don't know. Well, hope this answers any of your questions.